Hello and welcome again friends, in today's guide we will learn, how to install and dual boot, Ubuntu Budgie alongside Windows 10, without losing any data, so watch the complete guide without skipping the video, and follow every steps carefully. But before starting the video, I humble request you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new on this channel. So let's get started. These things are required to dual boot Ubuntu Budgie with Windows 10. So the our first step is, create unallocated space for the Ubuntu Budgie. To create an unallocated space, simply right click on start menu. Then click on disk management. Now in disk management window will open, here you will have to find and select the partition which have more free space available, as you can see here, in my case the E drive have more free space, so I am selecting it by clicking on it. Then right click on the selected drive. Then click on Shrink Volume. Now a new window will open, here you'll have to enter the desired size in MB format, I recommended you to create at least 20 GB free space for the Ubuntu Budgie. Here in my case, I am entering size 20480 MB, which is equals to 20 GB. After entering desired size, simply click on Shrink. As you can see here, 20 GB unallocated space is created. Now close this window and follow the next steps. Now the our second step is, download the Rufus USB tool. To download Rufus, simply open your web browser. Now search for the Rufus download in Google. Now open the first site, which is owned by Rufus.ie. After opening the site, simply scroll down. Now click on Rufus 3.13 to download it. After downloading follow the next steps. Now the our third step is download the Ubuntu Budgie ISO file. To download ISO file, simply open your web browser. And search for the Ubuntu Budgie download in Google. Now click on the first link which is ubuntubudgie.org. After opening the site, simply scroll down. As you can see here, this are the different editions of the Ubuntu Budgie, the downloading process is same for all the editions. Here in my case, I am downloading Ubuntu Budgie 20.04 LTS edition. To download it, simply click on direct download. Now wait for a while, the download will start automatically. As you can see here, this file is around 2.3 GB in size, so it will take some time to be downloaded. After downloading follow the next steps. Now the our next step is, write the ISO file to USB drive. For easy purpose, I created this folder on the desktop, and copied the files which we downloaded in earlier steps. Now open the Rufus, by double clicking on it. Now here, we have to select USB drive, which we are using for the Ubuntu Budgie installation. To avoid data loss, select it carefully, by verifying it. As you can see here, my USB label is 32 GB USB drive. Make sure both label are same. Now in boot selection menu, select disk or ISO image. Now click on select, and navigate to the location, where you place the ISO file of Lubuntu. Now click on the ISO file. Now click on open. Now here you have to select the partition scheme on the basis of your system partition scheme, here in my case I am selecting GPT as partition scheme, because my system partition scheme is GPT. If you don't know how to check partition scheme, click on the I button at top right corner of this video, and watch the tutorial. After selecting partition scheme, don't do any changes in any settings, leave as it is. Now click on start. Now select write in ISO image mode recommended. Now click on OK. Now an warning has appeared, which is saying all the data on the selected drive is formatted. Now click on OK. Now the image writing process has started, it will take some time to be completed, so I am fast forwarding the steps to save your precious time. Thank you. 
Now the image writing process is completed successfully. Now close the Rufus and follow the next step. Now restart Windows and follow the next steps. Now the system is restarting. Press escape key continuously during system is restarting. Now in startup menu is appeared. Now press F10 key to configure BIOS. Now navigate to the system configuration tab. Now find and select boot options. And press enter key. Now find and select legacy support and press enter key. Now select Enabled and press Enter key. Now select Yes and press Enter key. Now press F10 key to save changes. Now select Yes and press Enter key. Now the system is restarting, press Escape key continuously during system is restarting. In some cases, BIOS will ask you for confirming changes. So you have to enter the keys which are shown in the message. In my case the keys are, double five nine seven plus enter key. After press the keys, the system will restarting, so you have to press escape key continuously. Now in startup menu is appeared. Now press F9 key to select boot device options. Now find and select USB drive which has UEFI label. After selecting press enter key. Now find and select install Ubuntu Budgie, and press enter key. Please wait for a few minutes the installer is loading, and checking files, so please be patient. Now the installer is loaded. At first please make sure your system have connected to the internet. The advantage of this step is, this will download required files for the system automatically. Now click on continue. Now, here you'll have to select your desired keyboard layout. After selecting keyboard layout, simply click on continue. Here, Select Normal Installation, and tick this option to download updates during installation. Now click on Continue. This is most important step, here you'll have to select something else. Now click on Continue. Now the installer is loading partitions, so please be patient. Now the partitions are loaded, now find and select the free space which we created in earlier steps. After selecting free space, click on plus sign. Now first we are creating boot partition, with 500 MB in size. After entering the size, now navigate to the mount point and select, slash boot as mount point. Now click on OK. Now wait for a few seconds, installer is creating partition. Now the boot partition is created, now again find and select the free space. And click on plus sign. Now we are creating swap partition with 4 GB in size. After entering size, navigate to the uses section, and select swap area. Now click on OK. Now wait for a few seconds, installer is creating partition. Now the swap partition is created, now again find and select the remaining free space again. And click on plus sign. Now we are creating root partition, from the remaining free space, we are using whole free space, so don't do any changes in size. Now navigate to the mount point, and select slash, as mount point. Now click on OK. Now wait for a few seconds, installer is creating partition. As you can see here, our three partitions are now created. Now click on Install Now. Now in confirmation has appeared, which is asking write changes to disk. Now click on Continue. 
Here you will have to select your desired region, you can select from the map or you can enter it manually. After selecting region, click on continue. Now here, you'll have to set up user account, so enter your name, username, and password. Now set your desired password. Now type the same password again for the confirmation. Tick this option, if you don't want to enter password when log in. Or leave as it is. Now click on continue. Now the installation has started, it will take some time for the installation, so please be patient. I am fast forwarding the steps to save your precious time. Now the installation is completed. Now click on restart now. Now the system is restarting. Now the grub menu is opened. Now select Ubuntu and press enter key. Now the R system is booting into Ubuntu budgie. Now enter the password for the user account, which we set in earlier steps. Now press enter key, or click on this icon. Now the Ubuntu is successfully installed, now let's check can we able to access Windows partition from it or not. Yeah, I am able to access Windows partition from the Ubuntu budgie. Now let's check can we able to boot into Windows 10 or not. Now select Windows Boot Manager and press Enter key. As you can see here, we are also able to boot into Windows 10. Now let's check our data is formatted or still available. Yeah, our data is not formatted, so guys if this guide is helpful for you, then like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.